GSAC members are hitting the picket lines for a sixth day now. But today, the union says it's going to be picketing at more strategic locations for more maximum uh, impact. CP24's Eden DeBebe is standing outside a Service Canada Centre in Toronto for us this morning. Eden, tell us more about what you are hearing from those behind you on the line. What is their strategy today? Well, the biggest thing we're hearing here, Marcia, is that this was a necessary measure. Ongoing negotiations have been going on for about two years now, and things really hadn't moved until the striking actually began on Wednesday. 155 thousand workers right across the country all striking at government buildings just like this and a big locations constituency offices of course areas like parliament hill but that hasn't been enough we've barely moved the needle at least that's what unions are saying so now with these more strategic points namely seem to be around ports across the country they think that's really going to get the ball rolling when it comes to increased efforts here at places like where we are today look at behind me and you can see that picket workers have blocked the entrance to cars trying trying to get in. They say in the past we were only blocking them for about five minutes at a time, but now blocking times are up to around 10 minutes at a time. They say while that increased effort, of course, does deny people access to the building for a little bit longer, that the overall support has been fairly positive. I'm sure you heard that car honking there. People seem to uh, rather do seem to support the efforts being made today. So is any work being done inside that service center while this strike is on? Well, while the union does represent around 155,000 members, there are other members that aren't part of the union. Those who are deemed essential service workers, of course, will also still be working inside of that building, Marcia. But overall, support is still very high. Eden, thanks for that update.